Someone said earlier that uh, basically maybe do both teams to score an over two and a half in every game. This is the game where I think that you shouldn't do that. Uh, Union Berlin are plus 115. <laughs> Freiburg are plus 241. Uh, draw is at plus 246. Are, are you sure that you can rely on Freiburg on the road, last game of the season, to actually do anything when they've been checked out for so long? But the way the results have gone around them, that they may, may just turn up. Union Berlin at home I tell you what tells you everything about this game Stinch the under over is two and a half and it's a flip em. yeah I don't think anybody knows whether it's going to be go fest or not and yeah. as as we were sort of, sort of saying earlier off air if you've got an opinion just go for it um, this, this one for me is the most fascinating game of the week because we've got Union who are sat in 16th which is the relegation playoff they're two points off safety, but in order for them to survive, they'd need to win and hope Mainz lose, to overtake Mainz, or they'd need to win and hope Bochum uh, lose. Um, it, they've got a much worse goal difference than Mainz, so even if they both finished level on points, they would finish below Mainz. So when you consider that Mainz are plus 115 away at Wolfsburg and, and Bochum are plus 170 away at um, uh, away at uh, who are they playing? Is it Hoffenheim? I think. Um, no, or Werder Bremen. Hoffenheim. Uh, d- 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 remind me who Bochum are playing. Ah, Bochum. Bochum. Yeah. Last Bochum. week. No, no they're Bochum. Bochum. No, Bremen. No, sorry, Bremen. They're yeah, so mine. Oh, okay. Yeah, mine plus one fifteen at Wolfsburg and Bochum at plus one eighty at Bremen. So that tells you everything you need to know in terms of motivation here. There's no way you get those prices uh, on Mainz and Bochum away from home during the regular season. Like they're massively, massively short. But just tells you that the fact that probably Wolfsburg and Werder Bremen aren't bothered either. So I think, actually, instead of Union going out and trying to win this, I mean, look, there's no way you could bat them at plus 115, in my opinion, because they're just woefully out of form right now. It might make sense for them actually to make sure they guarantee a point and enter the relegation playoff because if they lose this and Cologne win, Cologne are going away to Heidenheim, Union would be directly relegated. They'd finish in the bottom two positions. And if they finish in the relegation playoff, they'll play Fortuna Dusseldorf. They'll have two legs. Um, Generally, the Bundesliga team uh, tends to stay up. Only three of the last 14 seasons has the Bundesliga team got relegated because generally they are stronger. They have um, two legs, so they have two lives, if you like. There's been a number of occasions where the second Bundesliga team has won the first leg and then the first Bundesliga team has come back. I mean, look at last season. Stuttgart were in the relegation playoff and look where Stuttgart are now. It just goes to yeah. show that you know the reason they are in the first Bundesliga is generally because they have first Bundesliga players. Um, they've got rid of the away goals rule as well in the relegation playoff, which is something that should help the stronger team as well. So I think actually it might be shrewder for Union to just make sure they don't lose. Yes, go out and try and win, but definitely, definitely, definitely make sure they, they don't lose. And actually, that's very much in keeping with their games, in, particularly in the second half of the season. 15 of their last 19 have gone under 2.5 goals. You mentioned Freiburg seem to have, have checked out somewhat. I think they just exhausted after a long season. They weren't quite deep in Europe, extra time, and uh, somewhat unlucky to be knocked out perhaps against Lons. But they've only won one of the last six, and that was against Darmstadt, and we know everybody beats Darmstadt. Um, they haven't scored more than one goal in any of those six games. And if you look at them against other sort of relegation teams, they haven't been high scoring either. Against Mainz, it finished 1 1. Against Cologne, it finished 0 0. So I'm going for the under 2.5 at minus 110. I think I couldn't put anyone off backing um, maybe even the draw, maybe even 0 0, maybe even 1 1. I think it's really one perhaps to keep an eye on in play. I think if um, there'll definitely be somebody on Union's bench monitoring the other fixtures. I think if Cologne are winning, I think if Mainz are winning and maybe even Borkham are winning as well, Union will massively just accept the draw, I think, in my opinion. So it could be a really good game to bet in play. I think it's Union on nothing. But there again, the plus 115 is a desperation price. Union, no wins in five. Mainz, who they're trying to chase, uh, unbeaten in five. Uh, Alex, I mean, it, it is Berlin. It is Union or nothing? I mean, Union of last year, then this would be like it's minus not, 175. It's not flash because, okay, I'm giving you uh, why. 
Freiburg, eighth place right now, three points above Heidenheim. Heidenheim will play uh, Köln. They might beat Köln, and they have a better goal difference than Freiburg. <laughs> yeah, and look, the the eighth place in Bundesliga. If Leverkusen wins the cup, and we expect them to win the cup against Kaiserslautern, will qualify in the Conference League. Heidenheim, imagine Heidenheim. Heidenheim to play in the Conference League next uh, uh, next uh, season when they are a newly promoted team, right? This will be crazy. Freiburg, I don't think that they will let that happen. I think that uh, it's uh, also the last match of their, their coach, uh, Christian Strike, and uh, uh, I think that uh, they will give him uh, a good game and uh, uh, maybe a win. All the value is on Freiburg here. Union Berlin, I don't care if they go down. They were the worst team uh, even uh, from from Darmstadt, if you if you think about last season when they qualified in the Champions League, they did it because they parked the bus and they scored at every opportunity that they had. Now they didn't. Uh, uh, they failed to find the back of the net, and everybody was scoring against them because uh, they brought in uh, that one, uh, uh, the um, the Bonucci. Italian guy, <laughs> Bonucci, and after that they let him go in the winter. So it, it, it's a mess what happened there. It's a total mess. On top of that, they changed their manager. We talked about it last week. How before two, two, two rounds of the season, it's possible to lose your manager. On top of that, they lost from, they lost from 2-0, 3-2 against the mighty Köln. They were 45 <laughs> minutes away from saving themselves from getting relegated. It's, they are nowhere to be, find, to be found. But I still think that uh, they will contribute on the score sheet. I think that this will be an exciting match. I think that we will see the overs. Yeah, I'm I'm against you guys. Uh, uh, we I'm you guys. Because you mentioned also about the under. Don't make me rewind the show. <laughs> I'm not on anything. It's my job to play devil's advocate and you are the devil. It's like, I can't, listen, if you want to go overs, you go overs. I was going to say. Of course I'm going on... overs. Union Life is too short game. to go under. <laughs> uh, but hey, it's, it's good to be hiding behind that sofa. Listen, I think Union could score twice here. And it's like plus 105. Um, I, I, yeah, I, you I said about been... another team. You said two weeks ago about another team that you think that they will score twice and win the game. And yeah, they didn't score twice. And no, Dortmund. and they didn't score twice, but they scored three, time, three, three goals last week, you know, against no. Union Berlin. I, I, but... I, I but but you didn't took, take them last week. You took them... No, because I didn't want to hex them. It's more important that they survive <laughs> to the last day. I, I, just, I, I was cheering them on, though, you know? I was cheering them on. Listen, they scored twice in injury time. <laughs> you know what I mean? What's, that's not good for your health. So, listen, Kern, no. no. I'm not. Listen, if they stay up, then, listen, next year, I, I, I need to be banned. I need to be banned if I go anywhere near Kern. Uh, Jono, if Union scores twice, they win. Really? You think? <laughs> if if Union scored twice, the Bundesliga like might give them week. four points. They might give them four <laughs> points. And, and, and listen, don't even bother. Uh, don't even get me started on that because, I mean, Freiburg haven't tried for, like, weeks. If they now start and put the boot into it. But I think that they'll win if they go into the playoff anyway, um, Union, because they'll just be able to turn it on. So I, I think that the third place side who finishes third from bottom, sorry, in the Bundesliga, we'll see them again next year anyway. Let's have a little look at the official pick. Under two and a half at minus one ten, over two and a half at minus one ten. So the team are going to lose point uh, one of a unit anyway. Uh, good, yeah, good. Well done, boys.